Willie D. Live. Mm. That's what they do. So the government is the hand that rocks the cradle. The government is the hidden hand. And the media, mainstream of media, to be exact, mainstream media, to be exact, is in cahoots with the government. And they always have. If you, all, if you go all the way back to when they first started putting reports out of black people escaping or, you know, doing, committing any kind of crime or whatever, it was the media that would put... The media used to, used to call us the N-word. Mm. They went from the N-word to Negro and all these type of things, but the mm. media would say very, very disparaging things about black people. And anytime a black person did something bad, they would always make it seem like that was a reflection of everybody, right? So when the media come for you and they, they, they're they trying to purposely tarnish our image worldwide, mm -hmm. they tarnish our image. People say, well, why would the media do that? Why would they want to do that? Well, if they can make us look bad, they can justify their mistreatment of us, mm. right? See, all they got to do is just make us look bad, just like when they want to go kill somebody, a foreign dictator. Make them look bad, and then when something happened to them, then the people will be happy that it happened to them mm. because they'll feel safer. Now, you told me don't say nothing, and now you over here trying to get shot. <laughs> Who, me? <laughs> yeah, because I mean, your shit is deeper than what I was talking about. Well, well. About well, the uh, man's. Are you act like I was, like, the powers that be is going to be hearing what I'm saying. I, no, no, that, no. What I you get said was, was, was the plan. The plan, this is part of the plan. This is part of the plan. The more ignorance I put out in this, in, the, in it, don't forget, if you're going to go to the Bible, this, this per se, Right? And he was up there with violins, making music the whole night. He was the music man. That, that, that's what Satan was. Yeah. If he got cast out of heaven, he's down here too. He's still down here with his skills. Music. Right. This is, why uh. the, the, this is what he's doing in this type of thing. How can I be able to influence? Because up there, I was the same thing. I was able to influence, make everything pretty, make everything, everything nice. I just wasn't going against, I wasn't seeing what, what, what he was going with, so he cast me out. But again, my gift that he came down here with is still music. Mm. So this is the playground. If I use the slang, um, uh, music is the devil's playground. That came from somewhere. This is what this is. So if I can push the agenda to keep you ignorant, that means I'm going to get rid of Willie D because he's too militant, so-and-so. Look how he speaks on, the, on, on his records. I'm going to get rid of um, Ice Cube. I'm going to get rid of NW. I'm going to get rid of Chaos One. I'm going to get rid of... All these groups that had the, the mentality to give us something that was uprising and giving us some thought and giving the public enemy giving us something. I got to get rid of all that. Mm. I don't need that. So they found a way to get rid of all of that and then to in tune this. And this is where we at. So the more stuff that keeps us like the same thing, it keeps us like this, this mentality. Don't forget, little Annie and, 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 and Josh and them at home, they don't live like this. To them, it's entertainment. So even if they're at home saying the N-word behind closed doors, is entertainment. They don't have no hustle. They're not broke. They don't have to worry about food or worry about the struggle. It's entertainment. We hear it, and then we go do it. But, you know, you know that we are right now in our first generation of millionaire kids. Like, a lot of our kids are used to having things. Like, it's, it's, it would be uncommon, very uncommon when I was growing up mm. for me to have a rich friend. Like, I had no rich friends. Mm. I didn't live in close proximity to any rich people. Yeah. But now, it's so many black kids whose parents are rich. Their friends are rich. Mm. Their friends are rich. Their friends' parents are rich. Everybody... You know, not everybody, but a lot of these kids, it's no big deal for them to go to be living in a very large house and riding around in luxury cars to get dropped off at school or driving their own cars to school or whatever. So we so we have we have that segment of our society that decides that even though I'm good, you know, I don't have to uh do all of this type of stuff, I'm going to do it anyway because that's what people want to hear. 
they want to hear this, so I'm going to, I'm going to go join a gang. Man, that's the most backward shit I ever heard in my life, to be, to already be out the streets, to be in a relatively safe community mm. and want to go hang out in the hood. To, to have a nice, comfortable life and want to go and create enemies, want yeah, to be yeah, in the that, streets. I just told you, that's the mentality. And you keep, listen, back then I got mad when they said the music was, was, was doing this to us. I was like, we was arguing. Rap music ain't doing this to us, but this music is doing this. And the same thing you're saying is what they hear on the record they are actually doing. That's what I'm saying. They are not not listening to the music. The music is driving these young kids to become what they are becoming. The, 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 this is no, them, no, them, I, I give the, you the, that. The, the, them hearing the, before it wasn't like that. That's what I'm saying, that you have the entertainment part of it to say the mentality because nobody is telling them. This is not the way to go. No, the, the, I, the, they are, they are, don't forget, we got brought up by Pat LaBelle, The Whispers, the Luther Vandross. Yeah. Our shit was different. Yeah, stuff that helped us survive. Right, but, but they Stevie won. But they growing up yeah. to them. Ooh. The 20 year old is growing up to a 20 year old. God damn. God damn, boy. You it's said the word there. Yeah, man, because when I, when I, I, Man, if I would have had that type of music like they listening to today, who knows? Yeah, that's... You know, because I'm going to tell you something, bro. When I was coming up, you know, I grew up in an abusive household. Right. So, you know, that was time, bro, that I didn't want to be here. Mm -hmm. So I was reckless. And I listened to that Stevie Wonder, man. He calmed the beast in me. Yep. Man, that Stevie Wonder was so emotional. Mm -hmm. It was so... It was... The, the Stevie was so... Uh, relaxing. It it was so reassuring, so motivational mm -hmm. that it gave me hope. We had that. Damn. You, you can name ten to twenty more groups like that. Yes. We had that. Yes. We don't have that. That kid don't got that. And There's it, nothing it, that he yeah. can play that emotionally can get him in that spirit or put him someplace else besides that. When he turns it on, it's gonna be that. Uh, drugs, money, girls. And whatever else, whatever such and such, and 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 being hard, gang and shooting. There's nothing that he could put on, uh, Al Green or anything that can put on Marvin Gaye. Anything, what we came up with that was able to have us in this type of mode for my parents. And even when the rap came on, it still was the Ghetto Boys. It still was, um, uh, uh, again, uh, 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 Rock Him. And 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 Kane and all these people that still had this message, no matter what the Jungle Brothers. This shit was, you, you didn't put no had a state. You had, you had y'all the hardcore people, three of y'all. Then we had this, then we had the Daisy A's, and we had the people that was fight the power. We had conversation. If you can get with this, you can get with that. Is a real statement on that record. Now my kids don't have that. They only have this. They don't even have a choice. Mm. So now mm. I can't govern my kid 24 hours a day because now the phone done got him. So now how do I even how do I even navigate with the phone and the iPad and the whole nine with social media to be able to say, then I, then I got to look at my kid and be able to govern while I'm at work. So how many hours can I give him to see what's up, to see what he's really doing or what's really going on, to see how he's really feeling? These kids is crazy. They wonder why you, you that, that's not my son. He killed four people.